Oh yeah, man. man. You got you got any more just just pimp C stories, man? Just man, things. I could talk about my brother all day long. Hmm. You know, uh, just. I mean, a lot of people saw that persona and didn't really know him. You know, uh, he was always thinking about family, thinking about the people that he loved. Even when, you know, he would be in ATL, he would hear me say, hey, Mitch, you know what's going on? How you doing? You know, I'm just letting you know I'm I'm all right. I'm going to be on deck. You know what I'm saying? Such and such. I'll be in PA. You know, I'm going to holler at you. You know what I mean? So, you know, it wasn't no persona, you know, with me and him. You know, even though, you know, he, he would be in his zone, you know, on his shit, you know, every now and then. And, uh, he, you know, he would try to, you know, be fly and all that shit with me. And I'm like, nah, nigga, no, 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 don't try that with me. You know what I'm saying? You know, be, be Chad, nigga. When you, you say know? be fly, what you mean? Just like more or something? I mean, as as he would be, you know, with other people. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, he fit in himself, you know, on whatever he on, <laughs> you know, and he, he get into that mode and other people would be around. And I would be there also. So instead of me getting Chad, I would get pimp because of the other people around. You know, I'm like, no, nah, man, don't, don't, no, no, don't do that to me. You know what I'm saying? And, excuse me. And he he done it a few times, but you know he would also come back and apologize. Yeah. Because I mean that's the kind of cat he was. You know, when if he was wrong and. You know, he may not see he wrong at the time, but when he go back and he think about it, he would be like, hey, Mitch, hey, man, I, I apologize for whatever, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, man, it's cool. I, you know, I'm not going to ever look at you no different than who you are, and that's Chad Butler. You know, Pimp, I, I knew what Pimp was. I knew where it came from. I knew what it grew from. You know what I'm saying? That seed was planted because people continue to fuck over him. So you have to become a defense mechanism, kind of, yeah. A mask, yeah, if yeah. you will. You know what I'm saying? That's just like in in one of the songs on my first album. You know, I, I, I call it writing checks that your behind can't cash. You know, I'm talking about people putting masks on just to protect themselves from people that's trying to do them harm. You know what I mean? And he did that very well. You know, because a lot of people, like I say, they didn't know what they was going to get. Because he, he'll size your ass up in a minute to see which one he going to give you. You know, and and that's straight up, man. Now, with the women, he didn't, you know, he would be like, uh, sometimes he'd be like, now, nah, what you want? You want you want Chad or you want Pimp? Hmm. Most of them, he already knew what to give, give them. You know, most of them, they got Pimp. You know, but like the baby mamas and, and shit and a few here and a few there, they, they got the real deal, you know. And uh, like I said, man, it, it wasn't nothing fraud about him. He just, like I said, that mask is what he had to put on every now and then to protect himself and to protect, you know, his best interests. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, talk about... um. About pimp passing away, man, because it was just a real like random thing, man. Like, well, of course, that was a bitter pill to swallow. Uh, I wasn't expecting. No, I don't believe anybody was expecting it, but I believe that he knew something was getting ready to happen. Hmm. Uh. A couple of weeks before he passed, he called me to his house, and uh, Edgar had um, barbecued. That's his uh, photographer, Edgar Walker. He had barbecued, and he called me. He's, you know, I'm at the house with my wife, and uh, he hit me up and said, Hey, Mitch, what you doing? I said, Man, I'm just uh, getting ready to go out to eat with, with Felice. What's going on? He say, man, I need to need to holler at you. I say, okay, well, shit, uh, you know, after I uh, come from, you know, eating with 
with my wife, I, you know, I come on through. And you say, nah, man, I need to talk to my real friend. So I had never heard him talk like that. So I said, okay, uh, let me, let me, let me holler right back at you. So I hung up the phone. I looked at the phone for a few seconds. And I looked at my wife. I said, uh, Chad just said some shit he ain't never said before to me. And I told her what he said. And she was like, well, uh, go ahead. She didn't even, didn't even question it. Oh, I mean, we, we talked about a lot of stuff, man. Uh, trying to go back to the sound of the Southern way. And, uh, you know, getting back in the studio, me and him doing a special project, you know what I mean? And he was like, man, Mitch, you don't want to fuck around with this music shit, man. This, this is some evil shit going on in this industry. And I was like, yeah, you, I know, I know there's some fucked up shit going on, but this is, what, this is what I've always wanted to do. He called me a week before he passed and he had just heard uh Kim's new album that just came out and he was digging that in uh Jay Z uh original gangster album that American came Gangster, out. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and uh mm -hmm. yeah, American Gangster, there you go. Mm -hmm. And he was tripping off the uh Marvin Gaye track that that he had sampled. Mm -hmm. Cause we had done some shit to that a while back and he was tripping on on that sample. He was like, Mitch, man, by two weeks I'll be there, I'll be on deck, I'm going to holler at you. Never no, happened. No, it, it, it didn't happen, bro. You know, you know, this day, though, now, you know, I know exactly why he was playing that song. I know now. Why you say that? You think he, he anticipated what was going to happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and he was trying to tell me yeah, some I issues with him. some people, or, or what? I don't know if it was issues with certain people, but you know, when when you start talking about the agenda and the 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 way music was going. And you speak out on it, you know, on the interviews, he was talking about a lot of shit that a lot of MCs wasn't going to speak on, you know. Well, I, you know, I could talk about it, man, the faggotry and shit that's, been, that's going on in this shit now. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking agenda. You know, it's, it's clear as day now. But you think about the time that he had started talking about it. Riding slab, you know what I'm talking about? You be careful lie. Young PMC is really going down in the side. You know what I'm talking about? Some of these niggas, I don't never see these niggas in the street, man. You know what I'm saying? We be out in the open, man. We, Cause we ain't hiding. Cause we ain't fucked over nobody and stole nobody money, man. We ain't told on nobody to avoid them little two years they trying to give a nigga down there and tell you know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, guess what, man? And I just left the penitentiary. And, man, the nigga with the little time with the nigga that was the punk down there, nigga. The nigga doing 25 and anything over one digit was stand up guy. The nigga with two years. Years or three years with down there fucking them boys in the head, nigga. You know you is, nigga. You know what I'm talking about, old, old punk ass nigga. And, and while I'm talking about it, there's a whole bunch of you whole ass rap niggas that's in the closet, nigga. Yeah, you in the closet, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you, but nigga, don't be trying to poison the pussy population, nigga, with your old, with your old sick dick. You know what I'm talking about? Get your motherfucking ass up out the way, nigga. All right, you niggas wearing them old fake ass diamonds. Get your bitch ass out the way, nigga. We watching you, bitch. Look at, look at, nigga. A three. Hundred, ain't no Bentley, nigga. And an apartment ain't no highs, nigga. And a Geneva watch ain't no Rolex. Get your mind on your money. You know what I'm talking about? Young pimp, fuck with it. Damn, nigga. We see you niggas in Ace Time. You niggas act like you know us. But when you get on BET, nigga, you get amnesia, nigga. You get to talk about a whole bunch of niggas we ain't ever heard of, nigga. But I'm on West Timer every day, bitch. And the only one I see on West Timer is Slim Thug. I don't see none of you niggas ride, nigga. We ride, we ain't hiding. Get your mind on your money. You know what I'm talking about? Straight business. What? Now let me say this, and I want it to be clear. I'm not apologizing for what I said. I'm 
clarifying what I meant by what I said. Correct. Right. Okay. We all know in now the South, we got to start acting like it's the South. And we got to start having some pride like it's the South. And let me say this, and y'all might not like this, because a lot of people don't like stuff. But ATL is considered to be the gay capital of the world right now. And y'all got clubs over there with boys standing in the parking lot kissing on the mouth. And you know, if you're gay and you're out of the closet, that's cool because everybody got their preference. But man, it's time to start cleaning up our own neighborhood because a dude from Texas shouldn't have to get on in no magazine to make you clean up your neighborhood. So if I really wanted to diss Atlanta, it was a bunch of things I could have said about a bunch of people and I could have really, really dissed and hurt some feelings. Now, don't you know that? Yes, sir. Because oh, yep. I know who the gay rappers is. I know who let them models stick them dildos in them, and I know who did what, where, when, and why. Wow. So now, Do you feel like expressing you, that right now? Yeah, go ahead, no. If you, again. If you feel like saying it, go ahead. Let me say this again. I'm proud of all the rappers in the South. I'm proud of everybody selling records in Atlanta. Hey, hey, Pimp. Yes, sir. Do, do you mind uh, expressing any of those rappers you was talking about? Them sugar no, sausages? Man. I want to know. Them, uh, them gay rappers you know about? Nah, man. It's no need to embarrass nobody yeah. that ain't done nothing to us. Yeah. Respect. But if you're gay, man, and you're ashamed of it, you need to stop doing stuff you're ashamed of. Anything done in the dark going to come to the light. I ain't got to expose them because they exposing themselves every day and every night. They sure are. But see, you work at a radio station and it's your job to ask me that question. And me being a real person, it's my job to know how to answer it, ain't it? You already What's know. Up? All right, okay, so if you're gay and you rap and you ain't and you, and you stand in the closet, then you need to come on out of the closet and let us know who you is. Because if you ain't proud of what you do, then don't do it. And if anything you're ashamed of, you shouldn't be doing it. You know who getting caught in the Range Rover with the boy? Ooh. You know what's going on in that lounge, just like I know. You know who got caught in the Range Rover with the boy? Okay? No, I don't really. <laughs> oh, yeah, you nice. Know. You crazy. know? Oh yeah. Cause if I know, I know you know, cause you in Atlanta. Oh, wow. all right. What's what's up with the with the Russell Simmons comment? What about it? I mean, it's basically saying that you saying that he's a. a <laughs> f okay. <laughs> 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 I, I, That's kind of self-explanatory. Right, it is, it is. It is. But, okay. but him, miss, miss. And then you have to think about the time he spent in prison and the things that he read, the things that he learned. His eyes was open when he come out that motherfucker. So when you start talking about certain agendas and certain things and you don't have the proper protection things happen who did what i don't know you know what i'm saying but i know it wasn't just no goddamn coincidence mm. you know what i'm saying nobody gonna tell me that that boy just ended up gone just out of the blue that's bullshit lord is so hard living this life Constant struggle each and every day. Some wonder why I'd rather die than to continue living this way. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm under the impression that if your heart is in the right place, your prayers don't get heard anyway. So some say Jaja, some say Allah, some say Jesus, some say Yahshua Ben Tal. You know what I'm talking about? Hey man, I just look like this, man. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't get this far being no square, man. You wanna hide something from black folks? They say you can put it in a book. I don't believe that Cause I done read four libraries worth of books I got some knowledge y'all need to get up on man Behold a pair of horse You know what I'm talking about? 48 laws of power You know what I'm saying? The art of war Secret societies of America You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, everything ain't what it look like man And don't judge every book by its cover did. Oh, love.
This is the future of our nation, the future of our people. Do you think hatred and evil will go unpunished? The world is now feeling the heat from flames it has kept burning since the beginning of civilization. You represent that yeah. fire. Niggas talk a good one, keep yapping your yibs Make you chase blood in your mouth from cracking your ribs I ain't with that he say stuff and spreading rumors Even Judas sold Jesus out to Roman rulers Bumping your gums, bitch type, work for the feds Use a rat in sheep's clothing, a Sammy the ball Always dancing with the tongue, yeah you Lucifer's son Got a shell for every tooth in your mouth from shooting you out And run to tell police that Informer talk is cheap, contract price in your head Beg for mercy for some Something you said, snake me, crossbow, revenge is a bitch, use the same bitch that'll get your whole team lynched, backstabber, say it to my face, you won't, you don't want the repercussions, fight club, my goons are snuffing. Get that nigga, get that nigga. Trace my bloodline to ancient fowls in Egypt, follow my family tree down to the roots and find Jesus, from Babylon to Timbuktu. Black market. Hey, yo, black market bullet holes pierce the devil's soul. The glow spin graciously just like the barrel on the snub nose. Holy four fists explode on reptilians. Camouflage chameleon savages with no feelings. Windstorms of villains kidnapping the royal children. Masonic builders of blood stains on the ceiling. Mob cow in their millions. Bank a stack of billions. Raw child but had trillions. Leaving zero for civilians. Bulletproof a tie on the digital messiah. My wings rise high in hell's fire. The feds in bed with Drug suppliers, beware the buyers to set your ass up with wires and bag you 85ers with the forked tongue of the snake that poisoned heaven's gate. Corrupted my faith, man, I let the foul taste. Now we squeeze the tray eights until there's holes in your face. Wipe the hand that ain't safe, watch who you violate. Subjects, call a celebrity gossip. You're taking it out of the context of Lucifer's burning his subjects. We 
Live in the projects, we descend from slaves. A lot of us don't even got shit and do anything to get paid. Who jigga that nigga ain't say it? And West just good at best. And if they homo, I do not know and I could care less. Not nah, ain't the build the burgers, not nah, ain't the Ross Childs. That's right, they the Rockefellers, nah, that's just them niggas style. Illuminati selling your muscle and your body, and they ain't ever need no rappers to accomplish that. Put them out right on top of that, giving you the truth, so copy that. Soon the economy collapse, great tribulation after that. Stolen the crumble pirate hats, we bust in these company cats. We call ass the pro play raps, Illuminati killer, but I'll be back. about family and uh stacking up this paper high as the uh you know always on you know yeah already you know so that's what it's really about but uh all this old shit here if i wasn't rapping i'd still be doing this old shit here you know this ain't nothing but materialistic you know knowledge is power i'm, I'm about making some money man you know put this shit together we get some real paper coach to coach man i'm trying to move to hawaii you know what i'm talking about? i'm trying to get away from these scrubs yeah you know what i'm talking about? going out there and you know Shit, uh, so fucking around with them boys at the at the Rolls Royce lot. We ain't playing, you know. Yeah. yeah, already. Yeah, catch me next week. It's gonna be crazy. This 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 a week and a half. Imagine what next week gonna be like, you know. A lot of free come see. Where he was going? Everybody was screaming free come see. A lot of love all these people. Everybody was screaming it, but then you had people like Zero that got on my album on four and five songs and was really representing for me. You had people like David Banner who was getting at me and looking out for my family. You had Bun B that really spearheaded this whole movement, and you know, and and Jay Z was supportive while I've been gone. Paul Wall was real good. I mean, uh. He really got down, you know, so it's a, it's a whole lot of artists that, that, that really, really got down. Too Short was real. Well, while I was gone, Jay Prince dropped the album on me. And, you know, he came to me, he came to the prison and saw me. He was like, look here. He said, man, I'm fit to stack this paper up. Ain't nothing really happening while you're here, so we fit to stack this bread up. And I had a few tracks left. I was selling beats while I was gone. And then, you know, so we, it, it, it went down and I still had some paper left. So, 
we, we, you know, we, we was blessed, but, uh, you know, it, it'll knock a hole in your pocket when you're sitting down and ain't, ain't nothing coming in. Everything just going out. Yeah, I did all my time at Gym Pop. You know, every, every, every farm I so hit. So they had you out there with, you, you, you was like a regular person in jail? Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. every unit I went to, they tried to lock me up. You know, and, and I, I had to sign papers so that they wouldn't lock me up. But they was doing that for their own protection. You know, uh, they wasn't really concerned about me or my well-being. They were just trying to cover their ass in case something went down and, and, and uh, I got hurt. But my, my thing was this. I couldn't do my time in, in, in PC, you know, because it's solitary. you by yourself. You can't move around. And, man, you, it's like really, really doing hard time like that. So, uh, you know, I, I, I really wasn't trying to do nothing so like that. So niggas weren't trying to get at you and throwing with you or nothing like that? What you really had was a lot of niggas trying to line up and get parallel exactly. with you. Exactly. And, and, and uh, you know, make connections. And I met a lot of talented people in there. I met a whole lot of smart brothers. So actually Boys. you was like the Don in prison. Niggas was really like looking up to you like as a sense of hope. You know what I mean? Man, maybe one day if I get out, if I keep it real with Pimp C, when I get out, maybe he might take me to that next level and give me a deal or something. Exactly, it was a lot of that, but at the same time, love breed hate. So right. I mean, you had haters, but when the when the when the majority is on your side, it's kind of hard for the haters to get out there and be able to hate in the open. So they hate it on the side by themselves and in their own little social circles. But as far as violence is concerned, I ain't had no problems. I had one incident, and you know, and we and we 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 uh we resolved that real quick. So, you know, as uh, far as the police was concerned, I had some problems with some laws now. You know, I run into wrecks with, with laws that didn't like what I stood for, didn't like rap music, or just didn't like black folks in general. And I ran into some of that, but what was always, man, the Lord was looking after me this whole time. Every time it was one that was dangerous that could get me, I had five or six that was on my side that, <laughs> that kept that kept that motherfucking Love, yeah. check, man. I went through phases and stages and, and, and on different units where I couldn't write. Like I hit, I hit one unit. It was so live. They call it Chocolate City. It's, it's called Darrington. I, I don't know if you heard of it, but it's really live over there. I mean, the, the broads is bopped up. They they finger net, fingernailed up. They got their heads whipped and and and, and uh, you know, and they choose it. You know what I mean? And, and and I hit this place, and it was so live until man, I. I just got to writing songs. I think I wrote, I wrote nine songs in three days. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, I'm just in my cell, and it was so live, the atmosphere. Then I leave there and go to another spot, and it's so dead and boring in Huntsville until I'm just like, no motivation. Right. So you know, it it happened in spurts because you know I did a year in the county. Right. I did two years in transit, which right. is basically a state jail facilities, and then I did one year and straight up TDC, J. Okay. Old school prison form. Okay. So you know, and ironically. So it was like the gangsters and the killers and shit up there, huh? Niggas were never coming home type shit. Well, to tell you the truth, the county was the rawest thing I, I experienced. Harris County Jail was the rawest thing I went through. The niggas rough the, up in there, huh? The laws was breaking arms and, and had hit squads and they was acting bad, you know. Then when I hit TDC and was in transit, you know, everybody coming in the system is coming in together. So you got youngsters, you got people with all types of different time, all types of different classifications, and you all mixed together. So it was real gang related when I hit that, that state jail. I done contacted a whole bunch of the youngsters out here in Houston, or the young rappers. You know, there's a lot of beef going on right now with them. They, they kind of mad at each other, and a lot of them don't even know why they mad. They can't even rem remember what it's all about. So, uh, my thing is this, these record labels are inclined to keep us as dumb as possible. They know that if we get to communicating and putting our heads together and comparing notes, that we're going to figure out some shit real fast. They also know that if we get on the same page, it's a chance that we could unionize. They really don't want that. They don't want rappers united. They don't want artists united. They want division. Because divided they can conquer. So uh, after saying that, I done went to some of these guys and I'm I'm I'm, I'm instrumental in trying to get some of them together and we're gonna sit down and James Prince is instrumental in it too. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna do it like this. Uh, y'all can talk it out, or we can go down to the gym and put the gloves on, y'all can box it out, 
and when it's over with, we can go down here and get some beer, and I'm gonna drink me some cranberry juice, and uh, you know, it's gonna be the end of that, and, we, and we're gonna take tours together and get this money out here, man. It's too much money for all this old plex, and people don't even know why they plexing. They don't even remember why they plexing. And while I'm on that, you know what I'm saying, I wanna shout out to Master P, everybody over there in that organization. It's really going down, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna holler at you, homie. Hear a lot of people in the penitentiary make statements like, I ain't never coming back here, you know? And I made statements when I was on the street that I was never going. So, I don't say never anymore. You don't know what you don't know what's in store. What I will say is this, I'm gonna stay positive out here. I'm gonna do the right things. You know, I'm not gonna uh, make no moves to put myself in the cross where these people can just cross me out and be right. You know what I mean? Okay. But but at the same time, I ain't gonna let nobody hurt me. I'm not gonna let nobody hurt my family. And I will kill you if you come around my kids with that bullshit. You know okay. what I mean? So you know if, you if, up, if, if that mean a nigga got to go back and sit down for a minute, well it'll go down and I'll go and I'll come back and we'll buy hey, some more beer. Just call me up, man. I got shit. some niggas from Milwaukee ready to go already, <laughs> you know I mean? man. Those niggas that, ain't ready, man. And that ain't no and that ain't gangster talk, that's just real talk. You know, family is family is the most important thing. Yeah, it's the order and, of the day. Yeah, and, and you got to look out for your own. And we ain't gonna let nobody snatch us off our mainframe or take nothing from us. And we ain't kissing no ass to be accepted. But at the same time, we're gonna lay back. We're gonna be cool. We're not gonna pick nothing, no fights with nobody. We're not gonna run up to no other man's fights and get involved in no bullshit. We're gonna keep it positive and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna keep it pimping. We're gonna keep, we gonna keep working and we're gonna uh, keep grinding. We're gonna work, work, work till the booty squirt and we're gonna get this paper. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna tell me that that boy just ended up gone. Just out of the blue. That's bullshit. You know? You know, talking about, you know, he died from this and died. Man, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? This man sipped that shit. He knew what the fuck he was doing. You know what I mean? But this, what you gonna say, this what he died from? Now, mama, before she passed, she told the truth about that boy didn't die from that shit. She said it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, nah, in, Ju in Julia Beverly's book, she kind of hinted yeah, around to she, some things. Yeah, but she yeah. didn't want to tell the whole enchilada because she know she would have been in, in, the, in the line of fire. That's why, you know, a lot of things I wouldn't want to just put out there, man, because you have to think about your loved ones and your family. Now that the shit is all out in the open and, and you see what's going on, that when they show you this shit on TV and they put it on TV in your fucking face, you can talk about it, but it's still like Ice T. One of his coldest albums was Freedom of Speech, but watch what you say. You don't think he, he knew about that shit way back when he was coming up? You fucking right he knew about it. Yeah, yeah. But he wasn't fist to go, he wasn't fist to rock his boat and, and then fuck up his 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 rap money and his acting money. He wasn't fisting to do that. It wasn't time to talk about that shit. All this you see behind me is for one man. That's right, Rap a Lot Records recording artist, Pimp C. And I welcome you home, Pimp C, man. Pimp C is free and that's a problem. Y'all too sorry, Rama. So welcome home once again. And we finna get you drunk tonight. Come on in. Smoke some bitch. Hmm. UGK for life. UGK for life. It's going down. Hold oh, up. Uh. PMCP ain't real nigga. Polo, fuck that here bigger. Made myself a ghetto star on the slab, sipping bar. Smoking weed, setting white. The mother nigga shit don't come back right. That's how niggas get pop. Trying to get the cheaper price. Watch your paper, gorge your life. Cause most of these niggas ain't living right. Keep your pistol, fuck a fight. Cause niggas I hear jack every night. I keep my mind on my money, nigga, fuck the fame. Big face hunters, deep in the game. Hitting the corner in the candy thing. Sitting on leather, gripping the grain. Good weed, good drink, big money. Hey. Rolling in something hey. far and no leather gripping. Yeah. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it. Hey. So, hey. Yeah. When I came in the dope, I 
said it before. I never fuck a hoe without head no more. I never pull up with nothing less than a foe. And I smoke cigars, it ain't just for the show. I'm blessed from the dope, and known for my city. I send a nigga, baby, by my home with a smith eye. You can have a bitch, nigga, I ain't send a minute. I smoke weed and freestyle. No instrument out, out. Slip through the wicked streets of PA. Motherfuck the judge, prosecutor, and the DA. Head to the H where the hoes are fucked three way, two way, four way. Any way the pro say, never hear a hoe say, no, I won't. No, I can't stop it, and no, I don't. Cause a bitch know I might just explode and slap in the face with a pie LMO. Cause a nigga get so good, we good, drink big money. Hey. Rolling in something hey. foreign, no leather grip and shit. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it. Hey. So, so, yeah. so, good we good, drank big money. Hey. Rolling in something hey. foreign, no leather grip and shit. Yeah. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it. Hey, 16-5 a piece of hey. nigga, USDA. So, hey. Heat up the water, yeah. Swear to God, the minute van do tricks, hit the brakes, hit the light, and voila, they go them bricks. I slide through the hood, hood, sitting on some big wheels. Hoppin' white, turn flips like cartwheels Trap star, my neck still trip all day, day Riding dirty, three nines and a four-way yeah. Good weed, good drink, big money hey. Rollin' in something hey. far and no leather gripping yeah. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it Hey, hey. I'm up in the wood, I got money to burn I got a three-way freak, and she ready to earn I make her open it up, I make her give me some more I got the bean like outside, and she ready to go She roll gon' ride blue, but I'ma ride red Did it gripping on grain, tryna dodge the feds I just got home, throwing the pin Just like we did it before, we need to do it again In the return of the kings, baby, back in the slab We got money, respect, the plaque in the grab Back in the lab, the pimp in the bun Get out of line to act like a simp, and you done It's the click, the team, the crew Get back to that trip, and it's what it do The underground kings, baby, rolling with heat And with pimp feet back on the street, you know we about to get so Good we good drink, big money hey. Rolling in something hey. far and no leather grip and shit yeah. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it Hey, oh. hey. yeah Good we good drink, big money hey. Rolling in something hey. far and no leather grip and shit yeah. I handle my business, so I think I deserve it hey. oh. Hey, yeah.